Well, one of the things that the University of Livingstonia has maintained over time is innovation. And as you can see in my background, I'm at the plantain of bananas, where we do the practicals for the bachelors of education in agriculture. Don't ask me about the weather. Don't ask me about the weather. You know the weather at Livingstonia. <laughs> Don't ask me about the weather. So it's an interesting thing that is happening inside the greenhouse. It's an activity that the students who are doing the bachelors of education in agriculture are conducting. I'm so much eager to know uh, a lot on what is happening around here, on what is happening inside. So we are just going to go inside and ask and as well as show you what's happening. So be with me. Joshua Grace Mwamba. Joshua Grace Mwamba. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what, what, what are you doing here, guys? Uh, we have found you that you are very busy in this greenhouse, uh, looking good in the worksuits. What, what, what is happening? Yeah, we are here in the greenhouse. Like uh, last month, we planted these tomatoes. Okay. And then today, we are tearing up the tomatoes so that they can not leach yeah, under the yeah, ground. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. they should grow through this link. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's what we are exactly doing today. Okay. That's yeah. the only activity that you're doing today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it is part of it, it is part of the coursework. Yeah. yeah. That's the part of our department. Just because we are focusing on agriculture. As yeah. you can see in this greenhouse. Yeah. We've planted a lot of tomatoes. Yes. And then as we are going far we we are going to remove these tomatoes and also plant another branch so that okay. we can study all of them. Wow, amazing, amazing, amazing. So we can see that uh, you are doing practical work today. Is it something that you do so often in your program? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like uh, education in agriculture, we do practical so many times. It's not the only about theory. Wow. Yeah, but it's about practical. Just because the, this guy, they say, maybe some, maybe sometimes we will not be able to work with the government so that you can stand on your own to study. Maybe farm or yeah. something so that true. you can do through this. So, so, so true. just because of this, we do plastic frequently yeah, than yeah, yeah. theory. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. You can see that these guys are doing practical work, work on the ground so that they can be able to rely on themselves, not to necessarily to rely on employment, as he has said. And this is so amazing because Already he's uh, turning into a principled leader <laughs> to transform the society. And which is what we do at the University of Minnesota. This is amazing. Let's go around and see what other people say. So I'm with another student who we also found in the greenhouse doing some small, small works. And I'll uh, just ask her what she's doing here and what they are all doing here. Yeah. What's, what's your full name? Can you tell us your full name? My name is Octavia Mandira. Octavia Mandira? Yes. Uh, wh where are you from, Octavia Mandira? From Mzimba, Mbangweni. Mzimba, Mbangweni? Yes. Wow. I was born at Mbangweni Mission Hospital. Oh. Yeah, which is interesting. Uh, so, what are you guys doing here? We have just found you busy doing some work. What are you guys doing? Okay, fine. We are here to tomato as you can see yeah, yeah, so yeah. that it should not fall down yeah yeah when yes. we came in we found some tomatoes which are germinating in sideways and yes. different directions okay, okay okay that is interesting and we can see that you are doing a lot of practical work here is it something that you do uh, occasionally or is it something that you do most often whenever you are around here okay as the agriculture team yeah. Most of the time we'll be doing uh, practical work here okay. in the greenhouse. Okay. Yes. Wow, amazing, amazing. What was your experience like putting everything together? What were some of the processes that you had to go through to put everything together so that it can be up and running? Okay, after constructing this greenhouse, yes, yes, yes. Uh, as you can see, there is a uh, site so arranged yeah, yeah, in very, lines. Very, yeah, very yes, difficult. so yeah, we have manure at first. Eh? Yeah. Then we mixed it with the uh, 
with, with the feta of soil. Feta of soil, but yes. It, it, it was probably caught from somewhere, right? Because it doesn't look like it's from now. Yes, yes, I hope so. Okay. Yeah, so after that, then... Oh. Yeah, you transplanted and then you did staking. Thank you so much for telling us what is happening around. And uh, how does it feel to be a woman in the agricultural field? Oh, wow, I'm so excited. Okay. Yeah, as for me, I'm happy that when I go home, maybe when I finish my education, yeah. I hope I'll be a farmer. Wow. We are making money for my own. <laughs> Amazing. So she wants to she wants to be a farmer after finish. You don't want to get employed? Uh, of course, but most of the time I'll be busy with my work. With your family. With my farming work here. Wow. wow. <laughs> This is amazing and this is what we do at the University of Estonia that is we look beyond what um, people see, we look beyond uh, the work, we look beyond all of that and we go into entrepreneurship and yeah this is the work that is happening around here and you can see how amazing it is. Uh, we have uh, lecturers who have also joined us from different departments. I'm here with one of the lecturers who is involved in everything that is happening around here, especially in the agricultural program. And we just want to know from him what is happening around and what they have been doing since the starting of this program. Mr. Mwase, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, can you tell us more about what is happening around here and how it all started and what you're doing up now? Okay, uh, thank you so much. In fact, there are several activities that are taking place. Yeah. Uh, one of them is the banana uh, demonstration field, yes. as well as the greenhouse where now we are, are planting the tomatoes for yeah. our students to yeah. have the hands-on activities. Yes. So this program aims at training teachers who are supposed to teach agriculture yeah. in schools. Yes. So the idea behind the, uh, the introduction of the greenhouse that you possibly you are able to see is uh, to train our students to have hands-on activity apart from the theory they are going to have in the classroom setting yeah. so they should also have a hands-on activities yeah. and the activities that are taking place within the greenhouse yeah. is in tandem with uh, the, the curriculum that yes. is uh, that we have so far that yeah, is education, yeah. education but we are going to have several things we have the livestock management, mm. uh, the horticulture, they will also be propagating some fruits. Yes. So after doing a theory within uh, the classroom setting, they will come and do some practical work wow. so that they complement each other. Oh, amazing. Uh, yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Sure. What should people expect? Because it's something very interesting. You have mentioned about livestock. What are some of the things that people should expect from this program? Uh, from this program, they should expect a lot from this. Apart from only training our students, we are also trying to also train other farmers within the Rumpi or uh, we call uh, the Henga Valley, yes. uh, especially in uh, also banana plantation because yeah. most of bananas that it was affected by uh, the bunch top yes. disease. Yes. So we are also going to have the um, greenhouse for the bananas. Yeah. yeah this other side. The, the banana suckers. Yes. So there will be protection of banana suckers. Okay. Yes. So those will be. The banana suckers will be sold or maybe we'll just give them for... The banana suckers, some will be sold as one way of generating income because for us to get some combs, which means you're going to buy, so to uh, to cover up the cost that we are going to incur, we are going to sell some of the bananas. But uh, others will also be given if there are some cooperatives to farmers within the Henga Valley as well as the Rumpi. Yeah, sure. So, thank you so much for thank this. You so much. Thank you so much. Thanks. So, one of the things about the University of Livingstonia is that in each and every activity that we have, we have full support from the management. And today, we are pleased to have the deputy principal who is here with us just to support and just to supervise everything that is happening around. So, I'll just uh, give it to him now. 
to tell us about what is happening and what people should expect from the education in agriculture program. So uh, thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much. Sir. Uh, what should people expect from this program, the um, education in agriculture? Yeah, um, maybe before the expectations, yeah. uh, I need to highlight the background of this uh, particular program. Yeah. Um, it is a batch of education and yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Um, we realize a gap when you are traveling for teaching practice. Yeah. We realize that uh, most schools do not have uh, teachers who teach agriculture. Yeah. And then we thought of introducing this program. Okay. Of course, uh, we noted this, prog uh, this problem a long time ago, but uh, at that time, we did not have the capacity. Okay. So we came up with a program and then uh, registered with the National Council for Higher Education. Wow. So as it is, yeah. uh, the program has been registered by National Council so for it, Higher Education. it is fully accredited by uh, the National Council? No, it's registered. It's registered. So accreditation, uh, probably after four years, then they will come uh, for the accreditation process. Wow, okay. But at the moment, it is registered. Okay. Yeah. So what, what should people expect from this program that you have introduced here? They should expect a lot. Okay. Um, there are several stakeholders who will benefit from this uh, program. Yeah. First of all, I think it's the Minister of Education. As I pointed out, we started yeah. this particular program because of shortage of teachers in Sonder School yeah. who teach agriculture. Yeah. So in this case, we will contribute to uh, the availability of teachers yeah. who will be teaching uh, agriculture in Sonder Schools. And then, apart from that, uh, this program will be activity-oriented, it will be practical-oriented. Uh, so apart from the uh, uh, training of teachers, those individual uh, students who are undertaking this particular program would also benefit in the sense that uh, whatever they will be doing is hands-on. As you can see here, uh, this is the tomato production. Yeah. We we'll also have uh, banana plantain production. Yeah. We we'll also be engaged in citrus fruit uh, production. Okay. And then we we'll have uh, livestock uh, uh, production. Wow. So in all these areas, um, uh, students will be equipped with the various skills. Okay. So they will not only be teachers out there, but uh, they would also be engaged in uh, farming or entrepreneurship uh, activities. In that way, they will contribute to the agricultural sector in Malawi as well as uh, themselves. Yeah. Apart from the uh, students themselves, we have also in mind the community around. Yeah. Uh, we noted one thing, I think in this area, Livingstonia, uh, from Chenachena, Poka and some other areas, uh, was very vibrant in terms of uh, the production of bananas. Yeah. But uh, because of the banana disease, that yeah. has gone down. And our yes. intention now is uh, to intensify uh, 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 banana production. That's why you have a banana field there, yes. which will uh, uh, enable us to uh, uh, be producing the suckers. So later on, I think you have seen this greenhouse. We we'll have another greenhouse out there yes. where we'll be producing banana suckers and we want to work with the communities so that they sustain the banana production. So definitely uh, the community would benefit in that area. So it will not only be bananas, but also uh, the livestock production as I hinted out earlier on. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so th thank you so much for yeah. this. Yeah. I think it is crystal clear about what is happening at the University of Livingstonia Laws campus. We have very interesting programs here and we have very interesting things uh, going on, things that will help the country and things that will help the community as well. So we are super excited for you to join us, for you to uh, come and experience the things that we are having here and take the privilege, take the privilege of just being part of what is happening here. Uh, it was an amazing afternoon just having conversations with each and everyone who has been involved in everything that is happening around here. You can see that we are progressing step by step at the University of Estonia in terms of the agriculture program that has been newly introduced. This is so amazing. You can see the works that are happening around and you can see the support from the deputy principal and other lecturers as well who are just here to support each and everything that is happening around. 
this is one of the things that we do here that we collaborate we do things together we support each other for the glory of god and as well as for promoting everything that is happening around the university i'm so thankful for having you on this video watching all over to the end and you can see the amazing work that is happening around and there are a lot of more updates that we'll be giving you and we just hope that you'll be right there so thank you so much and as you can see we are done i'll see you next time